Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 264. Normal pressures in different areas of the heart. What is the normal pressure at the left ventricle? The normal pressure of the left ventricle is 130 over 10. What is the normal pressure of the right ventricle? The normal pressure of the right ventricle is 25 over 5. What is the normal pressure at the right atrium? The normal pressure at the right atrium is less than 5. What is the normal pressure at the pulmonary artery? The normal pressure at the pulmonary artery is 25 over 10. What is the normal pressure at the aorta? The normal pressure at the aorta is 130 over 90. What is the normal pressure at the left atrium? Normal pressure at the left atrium is less than 12. The pulmonary capillary wedge pressure, PCWP, is also a good approximation of what? The pulmonary capillary wedge pressure is a good approximation of the left atrial pressure, which is about 12 in normal conditions. What happens to pulmonary capillary wedge pressure in conditions such as mitral stenosis? In conditions such as mitral stenosis, the pulmonary capillary wedge pressure is increased much higher than the left ventricular diastolic pressure. What is used to measure the pressures of the heart? The pressure of the heart is measured with the pulmonary artery catheter, also known as the Swan-Gans catheter. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.